minus 15 seconds. T minus 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4. Go for main engine start. 3, 2, 1, 0. And ignition and liftoff of the Atlas V with the Solar Dynamics Observatory. Learning why our star is changing our lives. Outboarding levels at 100% thrust on the RD 180. Vehicle dynamic disturbances at 30 seconds in position. This is your accelerator to move with. Uh, going into closed loop control on Atlas PU. And we try to close loop control on the Atlas propellant utilization system. Engine operating pr pressures continue to look good. Flight control data is smooth, as expected for this portion of atmospheric flight. Coming up on Mach 1. vehicle is now supersonic, approaching max dynamic pressure. Everything is looking good. And we are hitting max Q. PU is controlling as expected, engine operating as expected. Everything looking good. And the vehicle continues right down the center of the range track. We are 12 miles in altitude, 11 miles down range, traveling at 2,300 miles per hour. Start Atlas Propulsion and Hydraulic Securing. And vehicle Back. has transitioned to 95% so thrust as expected. The is continuing to control as expected. And we are now at 50% of our liftoff weight. Engine continues to operate as expected at 95% thrust. Center pneumatics, LC. Yeah, approaching our center pneumatics. Our center pneumatic. Closed loop steering phase. We, and we have entered that. And we fired the power valve, activating or pressurizing the reaction control system on Centaur. Booster continues to perform nominally. Can you see normal PU control? Flight control parameters are nice and smooth. Vehicle's accelerating at 3.6 Gs. We're now 38 miles in altitude, 83 miles downrange, traveling at 6,600 miles per hour. Flight control parameters look good. Vehicle now weighs 25% of its liftoff weight, and we've entered our constant 5G throttling phase. The RD-180 is compensating to maintain 5Gs of acceleration as expected. We have started boost phase chill down, introducing fuel to the RL-10 engine to condition it for operation. Fifty-six, sorry, 66 miles in altitude, 195 miles downrange, at 11,300 11, miles per hour. We have cut off. Everything looking good. Ignition, full thrust. RL-10 is up and running normally. Coming up on fairing jet. And we have jettisoned the fairing right on time. Everything looking good. You're seeing normal steady state operating levels on Centaur. Good startup transient. And we
we started thermal conditioning firings on the RCS thrusters. Center PU is in its fixed angle position as expected. Engine operating parameters did respond to the change in mixture ratio. Vehicle continues Just right down the center of the range track. Access control. We are now 108 miles in altitude, 407 miles downrange, traveling at 11,600 miles per hour. We are seeing expected activity on the reaction control system. Vehicles accelerating nice and smooth. Engine operating levels look good. Continuing our open loop phase and center PU. And we're now in closed loop control on center PU. And engine parameters are changing as expected, now operating on the fuel rich stop. This is the expected behavior at this time in flight. Reaction control system is as expected. Data now coming through the Antigua Island tracking station. Everything looking good. And we've begun our 104 degree roll to mitigate solar heating on the SDO spacecraft. Vehicle is controlling as expected. Right. Engine operating parameters continue to look good. Centaur PU has come off the stop, now controlling near nominal mixture ratio. We're now 156 miles in altitude, 830 miles downrange, traveling at 12,500 miles per hour. Our all 10 chamber pressure continues to look good. Pump discharge pressure, fuel venturi inlet pressure look good. And we've completed the roll for solar heating mitigation. We're returning to null rates. Everything is nice and smooth, accelerating at 0.47 Gs. The expected firings on the reaction control system for roll control and thermal conditioning of the thrusters. Center PU operating normally. Passing through 500 seconds into the mission, we are well into a planned 11-minute burn of Centaur. Engine operating parameters look good. We are now 168 miles in altitude, 1,100 miles downrange, traveling at 13,200 miles per hour. Loss of signal at the Cape. All data now coming through Antigua. Everything continues to look good. And we have safe the FTS system.